This is the de main dashboard of manager.io. Whether you have the desktop version or the online version, this is what it will look like. Now, manager.io is a very simple system. It does not have all the bells and whistles you would uh, expect in some kind of cloud-based online accounting system. However, if you have a very small business or starting out or a simple operation, then this may be a good software to start your business with. Just a few little uh, menus and things I'm going to show you real quick. And so here again, this is a summary screen where it just kind of gives you an overview of your income expenses. And you can filter it to a particular time period. So if I wanted to show 2023, I can filter it. And if I have transactions in for 2023, it will show me a summary here on the right. And then depending on your bank and cash accounts, you can set those up in here. Uh, if you have a new bank account, you can put that in there. And there's, like I said, it's it requires some manual setup. Um, so also right here, like you have to allow your, oops, sorry, not that. Uh, edit columns, edit work disorders. So the last bank reconciliation will show you when the last time this account was reconciled. Um, now, if I want to import bank statements, I cannot import a PDF file. However, I can import a files. I can import QuickBooks Connect files from your bank account or like a Quicken file or a CSV file. However, if you want to import a CSV file, it has to be cleaned up and then brought in, which I can show you in another video. Once you've brought that in, then it requires some cleanup. And then your uh, transactions that you have not cleaned up will show up here on the uncategorized receipts or payments. And so this is a summary of all your receipts, summary of payments, if you have any account transactions, those bank reconciliations you set up. One word of caution, the bank reconciliation is not as straightforward as you would expect when you use a uh, online accounting software. Uh, so here you can add your uh, fixed assets. It does not calculate depreciation. You would manually enter that in. If you have journal entries, to uh, reports, settings, so on the reports, you have your standard accounting reports like your profit and loss, your balance sheet. It will create a cash flow statement. Again, you got to make sure it's set up properly. And then your general ledger, if you want to look at your uh, detail breakdown, your GL. Now, one thing to note, in America, you'll see your balance sheet accounts first. This system is based, I think, in Australia or New Zealand. And so they show the income expense accounts first. However, it does capture all your transactions. And then if you want to see a profit and loss, just like that. So this is just a basic overview of manager.io. Leave me a comment if you want to see some detailed videos of certain modules, but I will be creating just general overviews on how to do certain things in manager. Again, it's a basic software, but it's great for someone that's just starting out or if you just need something simple.